Hi Scorpio, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So when I was meditating, I got a song. So I saw you and everything was quiet and nothing was happening and then the song kicked in and then it was like pokey energy, right? And it was the song, anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So, so anyway, <laughs> this is a tit for tat kind of energy. So let me, let me explain this. What I see here is a very happy Scorpio who's got a really good foundation going on. Everything's taken care of. We have choices in front of us. We've had really passionate connections in the past. We've had fun. We've done things. And moving forward, there's like a third party energy. It's like, okay, so are we including somebody else in this? In the, is this is this now a menage a trois situation? Or are we bringing a team member on board for this work? Like, who is this other person we got coming in? Um, what I see here is a person who learned how to honor themselves. You learned how to find your own worth and said, okay, you know what? I'm ready to move on if I need to move on. If they're not going to step up, I can be good. I can keep moving forward and I will be just fine. And where you used to worry about, and you still do, you're still wondering because the story hasn't finished playing out yet. You're still hanging tight to your purse, holding on to your money. You don't know what's going on. You don't want to see this end. You don't know what's happening. Um, but there's so much passion in you. You're such a, a, a gifted, exuberant. When people see you, they're like, oh, that's a great person. Scorpio is awesome. They're so beautiful. They're, they're so sweet and fiery and amazing. And they just love watching you shine. So that part of you is working. Be more of that. Just shine. Just be incredible. Don't worry about this person that you're waiting to say things to you and make this right. Because I can see you're living your best life at the same time that you're like, is this over? Am I walking away? Are we done? Are we not doing this again? Because I'm an amazing person and I deserve real love and I have love to offer. So let me just sit here by myself and wait to see what happens. So I'm, I'm okay with you waiting to see what happens because your energy is good there. What I don't want you to do is shut down because that's where you came from. You came from a shutdown space and I don't need you to shut down anymore. I need you to keep shining and keep moving forward. What is this that you were shutting down from? A masculine energy who didn't treat you right, probably didn't talk to you the right way, wasn't moving forward, wasn't committing to future plans, just real combative, fighting with you, making it look like they're leaving and moving forward and you said, fuck it, I'll do that. That's what I got to do. I'll move forward then. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and fight with you. Like I have better things to do with my Scorpio energy. Like shine and be a badass empress and go create things and have the world in my hands. Like, pff, I don't need this. Okay, so what did this make that person do? They got the message, yo. They were like, oh, the uh, hammer has come down and it's judgment time and I need to get it together. They seen you shining. Oh, shit, Scorpio shining without me. Um, I better step it up. I better show them I'm the man. I'm 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 the person. And the more that they went oh shit oh shit, the more you shined. Whether you knew that or not, maybe you weren't, you know, together or you haven't seen them or what have you. Even if you've been hiding, if you're not on social media or what have you, they still feel the energy and they know that you don't give a fuck. They know it. They're like, they're actually panicking because they thought that taking care of house and home and, you know, paying bills and what have you was going to um, keep them safe and they could do whatever they wanted and not worry about your feelings too much or like not getting up to that level that you needed them to be at. And now they realize with all that deception and avoidance 
and trying to like pay you off and buy you out and just take care of your shit, buy you a car and tell you to shut up for two more weeks or whatever it was they were doing. It's not working. They can't have their cake and eat it too. They can't take care of house and home and this relationship and somebody else. They can't have it both ways. They need to decide. Are they going to go off and play and be destitute? Because they know they're going to lose money if they go away. Because they're going to owe you for leaving. So if they're leaving you or leaving another situation, this is what's happening. Okay. I do see true love kicking in, but it's because the universe had to kick their ass. So this other person is realizing, overthinking, and trying to figure out where they went wrong and trying to get your feelings to come towards them. They realize that you just kept walking and walking and walking, that you were straight up bored. You're like, I'm outie. I'm not doing this. And they're like, oh shit, I, I don't. I'm running out of options here. Like, I thought I could do this and I could be with this person and I could just pay for stuff and go play and it would be fine. And that's a no. They realize they're deeply, madly in love with you and they need to get their shit together. Yep, this is real love and they're ready to share real feelings now because you're everything. They remember you. This is a soulmate connection. They think about you all the time. You are loyal to them, or were, whether you're together or not, like a dog is loyal to a boy. And they re realize that they completely took you for granted and screwed it up by going out and messing around and doing what they were doing. They are ready to hunker down, bring it home, keep the money home, and get their shit together. No more cheating, screwing around, doing whatever they were doing with their money. This is a pure emotional connection. And they're not starting over completely with rebuilding the foundation. It looks like um, there's still a good foundation there. It didn't go all the way back. Even though on your end, you're like, fuck this. I'm burning the bridge and I'm running. They never let go. They never left. They never went anywhere. This whole entire time, they were like, you're home base. I'm just going to do other crap over here. You'll always be home base for me. But you're like, not good enough. That's not good enough. Now you need to show me. And they're like, oh crap, before I lose this, let me let me tend to my bonsai tree. Let me nurture what we have built already because I don't want to lose this. I, I truly, truly love this. You're my happy home. We could do beautiful things together, raise kids, like sit on the couch and snuggle. Like they need to get back to their feelings. Okay. All right. Yes. They are ready to come in like a partner that's emotionally available and really be a team member. But they had to decide. They, they, had, they spent so much time going, oh, I have choices, I have options. Well, you know what? So does, so does, so does this person. Like, how dare they think they could just pay and do whatever they want and not lose you because you're like, oh, no, truly, you've lost me. Even if I'm with you, I don't talk to you. I don't sleep with you. I'm not giving you love. I'm not going to feed you anymore, et cetera, et cetera. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And they're like, oh, crap. I just lost everything that I work for. I need to be with this person. This is my person. This is my soulmate. So let me magically fix this. How are they going to magically fix this? <laughs> With love. They're going to make a love offer. They're just going to hold your hand, look you in the eyes, and you're going to feel it oozing off of them like you haven't felt in a really long time. And they may not say too much. I don't see them saying anything because they really screwed up, it looks like. They're just going to move it forward and Spirit's going to guide them. The Divine is going to show them where to go and how to take charge and how to fix this. So it's going to be gradual over time. Okay. Outcome for you. You're going to be juggling letting them give you offers and gifts and make it up to you. And eventually you'll feel like, okay, I got my truth. I know they're here to stay and they're going to treat me right. And they're going to act like the man of the house again. The one, can I take care of you? Oh, hey babe, I cut the lawn. I, uh, I, I, um, 
I painted this back room. I took care of that thing you wanted me to take care of five years ago. Like they're just telling you, I did this, I did that, all the things that they didn't do before. You're just going to see happen. It's, they didn't ignore you before. They just didn't think it was that important because you stayed. And now they realize you could totally not care just as easily as you show you're caring. And they're like, oh crap, they don't need me. I thought that they needed me for like money and security and they're, I'm never going to lose them, but they, they could lose you. They could lose you and they don't want to do that. Okay. So please comment, like, share, and subscribe if this resonates. And for those of you who want to stick around, this is the trigger warning for timing. So if you don't want to hear timing, bye for now. And if you do hang out for a minute and we're going to see what's coming next and how long this is going to take. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. So I see something in May. Yeah, that's the fifth month, right? May. Something's coming in May. They want me to grab a different deck. Where do you want me to go? We're going to use Mary, Queen of Angels from Doreen Virtue. So let me see what's coming in May. I grabbed... I grabbed the Mary deck because this one is really good with emotions and healing, um, getting into the feelings, and I want to see what that looks like. Yes, that's what I want to see. Hell to the moon. Okay, prayer, God, and faith. This is your prayers being heard. Spirit said, I know you don't want to give up on them. I'm going to work on them. Let me kick their ass for you. You just go do you. You get hang out and you get your confidence back. And uh, I'm going to fix them right up and I'll be right there. So um, give them till about May to start showing up better. Yes, with a real legit love offer. After that, it will be so much better. You'll be far more relaxed, okay? All right, that's what I have for you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.